mine now. Colonel, I've spotted him. It's him, right? Remember, Corporal. Yes, sir. Colonel, I'll get him. St. John out. All right. Oh, come on, you asshole. Damn it! No! Shoot the bike, Dick! Shoot the bike! Don't let him get away, Dick. What the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Uh, let go. Please. Just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you where I, I stashed it. I swear. Sorry, pal. I told it to the colonel. Colonel, Freaks. I've got him. Freaks. Alive. Freaks. Transmitting coordinates now. I'm sending a patrol now. Don't. Report back to me. Don't. Get it out. St. John.
Many of you have been with me from the beginning. Listened to me when I warned about the coming of God's plague. Journeyed with me to this place. Helped me to build this ark. But whether you were with us from the beginning, or joined our ranks only today, you are now part of this great endeavor. You are now part of our mission to save mankind. I want to remind you, as you go forth beyond these walls to perform your duties, that we are still searching for material worthy of safekeeping within the Ark. We seek textbooks, manuals, encyclopedia, discs, and other media. Lieutenant Weaver has listed several books on chemistry that are needed. Lieutenant Whitaker has listed books on biochemistry, genetics, and biology that we are lacking. Captain Jimenez has listed books on medicine, anatomy, and surgical procedures that we need. Sergeant Tomlinson has listed books on highway construction, mechanical engineering. And Captain Hawkins is always looking for material related to agriculture and hydroponics. So, while you're out doing runs, keep an eye out for items like these. Do your part to help us fill the Ark. Company dismissed. Yeah. Oh, yes. Captain.
Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. He'll have his fair trial tomorrow, and then we'll hang him at dusk. Fair trial? Of course. Every man deserves a fair trial. And then a fair hanging by the neck until death. Ah, uh, yes, fair trial. Then, uh, but right, anyway, just reporting in, St. John. Polystyrene. <laughs> Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. <sighs> Gonna need more. enough. There's another nest. Yeah, let's burn it up. There's another one. Took me okay, one more piece.
And where is it? God damn this. That's gotta be close. Son of a bitch! Make something out of this. to do it.
scrap. See what I can do. <sighs> Needed this. <laughs> Good. This ought to do it. I'll mark the rest on my map. Have cool since then. This ought to do it. I'll mark the rest on my map. Have Corey send some men out here to get the rest.
Hey, huh? I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Set it down over there. Let me get a piece. Okay. That's good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Well, not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you know anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. Ladies got a fine ass. You see, polystyrene is an aromatic hydrocarbon, while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. My friend is a napalm molotov, <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war. Once I fine-tune the formula, that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch. <sighs> know how that is? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. I worked in an auto shop. Do you need anything else? Nah, man, I'm good. So goddamn close. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> gonna blow up and burn, son! Taking it to the ass! Say for burning one dead freak at a time. Man, this sucks. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. It's this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I I just need another requisition form. No, you know what, I'm, I, I'm not gonna give this one to you. Why, why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey. I've done supply runs like anyone else. Though I gotta admit, it's been a while. Do you even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with the... Hey, you, uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here, yeah. I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the Colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, it's stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Here, this is my tent. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. All right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun.
Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, I mean, how long did it take the lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow? When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. What's wrong? No, nothing, it's just... <sighs> Never mind. <clears throat> Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. There's a community college east of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge, it'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. something? After that night in Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, where we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because, because he lost his arm. But, uh, but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I I'm really sorry. I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but, um, that night in Farewell, my mongrel's ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm... I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know, I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Here, I think this is it. <laughs> You've been here before? Once, before, you know, career day, they invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing, just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. 
How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <sighs> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps, set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think I'm fine with the This will help. I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you goddamn damn news. Now come on, let's just go around. We're not getting through here. No, whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? Here, let me try. There. That did it. Through here, looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. You ready? Push! There. We're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through... down. It's clear. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. This one can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? No.
Hey, over here, there's an open window. Coming. You got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on, I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! I don't know. <sighs> you know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. You ready? Mm hmm. Let's go. All right. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. The door's jammed. Here. Mm -hmm. I got this. I got it. See? I told you. See? Like I said, I got this. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, how badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. Now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. Shit. <laughs> More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh, uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building, it's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey, another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it. Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Sarah! Sarah! so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Oh. 
Fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed Freaks before. Oh, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? not. No, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? Okay, Jammed like all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. What the Hold fuck? on, hold on for a second. Those are those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means there's gotta be a way up from the roof. Come on. Come on, the roof's lower over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push. Yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. Just really wish we didn't have to kill the little shits. What? What do you mean? They remind me of that little girl. The one in Farewell. The one that fucking stabbed you. She didn't know what she was doing. None of them know what they're doing. Don't stop them from killing you. I know that. Look out! I got him! the last of them. You enjoyed that? Well, killing newts? No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. You try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. There's no, uh, bullet holes, no sign of a 
violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Okay. As it's gonna get. Let's move. I sort of noticed that. Topping off. There's more of them, a lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. Bro, up here you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Run all you want. I got you now. 
You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare up those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Deacon, don't you leave me here! Hey, I'm here. Come on, let's go. Right behind you. Deke, don't leave me here. I'm not going anywhere. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. You're welcome.
Corporal, how are you? Hey, I'm uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ella Salazar. Just call me Sal. So, uh, this is where I bring bounty ears? Mm-hmm, this is the place. If you have any freaker ears, bring them to me. Got it. Corporal, you take care now. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, in Copa No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. That's it, that's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where I could check out. you can't get what I need there, you... <laughs> God, you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. My God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go.
Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's standing. that all about anyway what all the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless you know considering hey you were in the army once you should know that was different how oh there were more people in the world i don't know i mean having a military made more sense i think it makes more sense now why it's utter fucking chaos out here we need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it you know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks getting pointless, I mean? Oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I think I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from- To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am, I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <laughs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my God. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day? Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't going to let him die, you know? So, watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. That's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. 
Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? Right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. <clears throat> we need your help to move that out of the way. What the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help move us or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I've seen worse, but yeah. see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power is still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Ari's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Ari? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Oh. 
Infected. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew him. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and that was with weekly maintenance. And now it's been, what, two years? <laughs> God damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! No, oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I shoot the match. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Clover.
Cloverdale Research Iron Butte facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Get down. Mother fucker. You were saying? Yeah. This world is not my thing. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see her point out that. Stay up here and give me a Do whatever you can. I'll send you when it's clear. Clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? This is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Clear. Coming. Clear. Coming. We gotta get up those stairs Alert. and through this sky Alert. bridge. Nine, one, one. All right, I'm with you. Police are on their way. Stand Clear. Coming. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has been breached. Alert. The Cloverdale Alert. facility is in lockdown. Has been Repeat. Called. Override. Are on ID 2007659. Override. Armed. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. Alert. We must not have locked out any security. This is you ready? Yeah, Alert. this time? Hey, this time? To the we go in together. Where'd you come from? Warning. Deadly Shit. force is Sniper. authorized for use against run. all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. I'm hit! I'm hit! Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand more of them. and you will not be I see him! Deadly force is authorized for time. use against all trespassers. Sarah Irene Whitaker, Warning. ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Jim, wait! That's so Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, on it. Alert! This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. 
Security personnel to the maintenance building. It's clear. Same here. For use against all trespassers. Deadly. Okay, it's clear. Alert! Alert! They're waiting for us. Nine one one has been called. I remember Police taking are this on photo. Their way. Stand down, <sighs> and you will not be. Okay. Security personnel to the beach. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Warning. Deadly voice Access is denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security Warning. clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking called. bitch! Are hey, hey! Going Stand in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. Has been better call. Police are on their Oh yeah, you got one? Oh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. There's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down some pressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take it by surprise. That's a really good plan, but uh, there's uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked. Out, remember? <sighs> Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Alert! Alert! Nine one one has been called. Police are on their way. Stand Put your hand on that reader. You will not be harmed. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Alert! Alert! <clears throat> 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah! Wait until I get their Alert. attention, then you go Alert. in. Hey, don't take any chances. <laughs> you kidding me? These days, that's all I do. Okay, go. Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on their way. 
their way. Stand down and you will not be behind. Now you're gonna pay. Go! We got this! Alert! They're down! They're down! This is a level 4 alarm. It's the last of them. Security personnel to the maintenance building. I saw Jim go scurrying into the office of the <sighs> Wait here. I'll bring him to you. Warning. Hands! <laughs> Don't shoot! Hands! Don't shoot! I give up! Get give up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh, God damn it! I said hands! Uh, all right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <sighs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I, I don't understand. You should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off, they took away my clearance. Me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay, who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I Classified don't know. project. Just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together in myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected, and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. 
And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um... It's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. <sighs> you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Burn, you little bastards. No, I just gotta jimmy that door. Got it. It's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn. So tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. That you be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, Deep? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, 
There's a... I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power, it's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay? And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. But you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and... That uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. It's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Soaking wet. Excuse me. I never thought I'd get warm again. Thing or yeah yeah God, I'm not even hungry yeah never am I you call me here
What's up with you? St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Go. Go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez, dark to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps, in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia, we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed.
D. Corporal in command. Hey, D. I got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? Actually, yeah. Uh, served with a guy from Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. No shit, right? Let me tell you, man. Before shit went down, I used to run this website called You Need Guns? I Got Guns. Dot com. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. That's where I've seen you before. You had a... You had a cable show. Uh, my old man used to watch it back in the day. Hey, your old man had good taste. Goddamn right I did. I used to travel the country hitting up out-of-the-way gun shows, flea markets, shit like that. Ah, I guess this is about as out-of-the-way as it gets. I guess it is at that, huh? So what, you got nothing better to do? Well, I do. I'm just saying. Hey, you want it? I got it. <laughs> okay. See ya, Corporal. Corporal St. John. Sergeant, how's it going? No, huh? Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, yeah? Hey, Deke. That corporal. Hey, man. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Okay, oh, hey, no, I, I didn't mean nothing. Just, just us grunts here, right? Shooting the shit. Yeah, we'll show some respect. Uh, yeah, Deke, uh, Corporal, uh, see you, man. I can fix this. Uh, that'll hold. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John to Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Don, look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. And Corporal, the Colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah. Copy that. St. John out. Curry to St. John. Come in. I've got another job for you. Come to the Diamond Lake outpost. Copy that, Captain. St. John out. I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no. Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in. See how, you know, 
how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You will never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. I guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay, yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Yeah, you too. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. the shit went down? You talked about global conspiracy, most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys. An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. Yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places that got hit first. And someone betrayed America. Don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. They need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Sector. Nero had all the good shit. An apple a day. Hey, you on duty tomorrow? Forgot to check the roster. You? Yeah. CEO has been on four days straight. Don't they can do that? Did he do it? Yeah. Well, then I guess they can. We got a lot to do, not a lot of time. Yeah, 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 I get that. But shit, huh? Come on. Running is pretty hard. Not hard enough. Ooh, not enough free time. Blue checkers and preheated bunkers. Man, that champagne problem. Nothing like that!
Taylor. What the hell are you doing out here? Okay, let's take a look around. Which way? Gotcha. I gotta find a way inside. Needing this. Taylor. Huh. Dickens say John. How are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> that fucked up, man. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. 
I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> you kick and you kick Wait. and you shit yourself. All the fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't want to I don't want to Please. Don't let them hang me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not gonna be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Doesn't look too bad. Corporal St. John, open up. Shit. Deacon, you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You Keep sound kind of cheerful. Yes, 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 yes. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Yeah. 
lihat A good piece of equipment right there. Yes, sir, that, that that's a good one. Oh, good 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 choice, gotta say. Oh, okay, yep. Yep. Okay then. Oh, Cor Corporal St. Hey, John. You, oh, you stay safe. Hey, Sarge. Yes, very good. That's it. Oh, okay. Corporal, goodbye Corporal. and be safe. Now, how's it going? Sergeant. What can I get for you? One, two, one, two, one, two. Follow the cadence. Moving, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's work, people. Keep moving. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That'll last you. Okay. Corporal St. John, you stay safe. Corporal, uh, what can I get? For you? Corporal, Deacon, good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, or for the militia. I mean, it does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross. I don't know him, but uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed.
squatters doing some hunting, huh? Tired of murdering drifters on the renegade camp. Sons of bitches, you think you can ambush me and get away with it? That's right, I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone. Yeah, that's right. I gotta burn out the rest of these nests. <sighs> I'll come back later, finish burning out these nests.
and I smell it. <sighs> it's got to be getting close. Another nest. Let's go. Done. Goddamn freaks. Now it'll be... Safe and right through here. I can't let any of them get out of here alive. A bunch of rapists and murderers. Oh, yeah. How do you like that, huh? Okay, time for the rest of you.
It's clear. Now you know how it feels being on the other end of it, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. Nothing like scrap. 